Hello Huskies, my name is Jesse, a transfer mentor at the East Los Angeles College Transfer Center. Today I will be showing you all how to apply to any of the nine UCs. Let's begin. The first step is loading the University of California website. The URL is the University of California edu. Through this application you could apply to multiple UCs. On the home page, hit the apply for fall application. The application is now open but we cannot submit until November 1st and the application closes November 30th. Create an account if you have not yet. Make sure to use an email you have access to and check frequently. If you have an account created already, let's sign in. Once logged in, make sure to select the term you'll be applying for. We are applying for fall 2021. Indicate that you are a transfer student. Then select that you are a junior level standing transfer. Remember that even though you might not have the 60 plus minimum transferable units at the moment, you will have them completed by the time you enter the UC. Now it's your time to shine. Let's begin the application. You will notice that the application has seven main sections on the top right. You can toggle through any section and save as you go. You can also skip sections if you like. The following sections are about you, campuses and majors, academic history, test scores, activities and awards, scholarships and programs, personal insight, and then you'll need to review and submit. I am going to briefly cover the sections of the application that usually have the most frequently asked questions. The about you section is straightforward and pertains to information about yourself. For the citizenship and residency section, make sure to select your citizenship status correctly. If you are a U.S. citizen, select that option. If not, select the country you were born in. For undocumented students, make sure to select the no selection under citizenship. Make sure to claim California residency. If you graduated from a California high school, select yes. If you graduated from a high school outside of California, Make sure to indicate that by the time you attend the UC, you have met the California residency equivalency of at least three years in the following question. The Your Household section will ask you a few questions pertaining to your financial income earned in 2019. These questions will determine if you qualify for the application fee waiver. Make sure to have the documentation needed to answer the questions. Once finished with the About You section, you will move on to the Campuses and Major section. If you qualify for the fee waiver, you can apply to four UC campuses for free. It will notify you before selecting the campuses you want to apply to if you qualify. If not, then it costs $70 per campus. Select the campuses you want to apply to and then select the majors for that pertaining campus and move on. The Academic History section will require you to input all coursework from all colleges attended. Make sure to have your unofficial transcripts handy when inputting courses. Under the Academic History portion, there is a Transfer Admission Planner section. If you have entered your coursework information into the UC Transfer Admission Planner, you have the ability to import that information into your UC application. Enter the login ID an email address used for your TAP account and click on the import data from TAP to copy the information into the UC application. If you do not have a TAP account, that is okay and you can save and continue. Under the colleges section, input each college you've attended. Make sure to look at your transcripts for the dates you've attended for each corresponding college. If you plan to complete coursework in the winter and or spring, input the end date for that semester. For example, we are completing coursework at ELAC until the end of spring 2021. We enter June 2021 for the end date of attendance. If you complete a coursework during a winter session, make sure to select semester with winter session term. Then check each of the enrolled terms you complete a coursework for. If you are earning any type of associate's degree, you can list it in the following section. If not, it is okay because an associate's degree is not required to be 
completed when transferring. Once all colleges attended is inputted, save and continue. Now under the College Courses and Grades section, you'll be able to input coursework for each term. Select the first term and enter Courses and Grades. The application will list the available courses in alphabetical order. Find the course, select it, and input the grade you earn. Save that semester and move on to the next. If there is a course you completed and it does not populate, for example, a course that is not transferable, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and select, I do not see my courses. You'll be able to enter the course manually. For this demonstration, we will be inputting Math 125 manually. Remember to copy the course exactly how it is shown on your unofficial transcripts. Continue entering coursework for that semester if you need to and then save. If you withdrew from a course and a W is shown on your transcript, you can select WI for the grade. If you repeated a course, that you originally earned a non-passing grade and then earned a passing grade for the same course, make sure to input the non-passing grade for the first attempt. For example, we earned a non-passing grade for a geography class, but then repeated it. Later, when you're inputting the passing grade for the repeated course, the application will ask you if the course is repeated and then ask you to select the course you repeated it with. Select the non-passing grade as a repeated course. For more information on how to input repeat or academic renewals, check out the links below we provided in the video description. The rest of the application is pretty straightforward as well. Thank you Huskies, that was a quick run through of the UC application. I covered the areas that we typically receive the most questions on. I hope that was helpful. Make sure to join us for a workshop this semester covering the UC application and the UC personal insight questions. You can watch our UC application workshop video at your own convenience for the step-by-step -step coverage of the application. Check out the video description for the links below. Hit the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram to stay up to date with any transfer updates. Once again, this is Jesse from the Transfer Center and thank you for watching.